Hey, I'm Nikita. I'm Eric. And uh, we built a two-axis uh, brushless gimbal controller. So this is primarily for a uh, some kind of like unmanned aircraft system where you have a camera on board, but you need to uh, stabilize it and uh, counteract the motion of the aircraft to keep the camera pointed in one orientation. Uh, so you know there's two degrees of freedom with each motor, and we have uh, brushless AC motors to uh, do really smooth control. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we also have two uh, six-axis IMUs. These so three axes would be uh, the accelerometer, and the other three would be the gyroscope. And these are specifically the MPU 6050s. All right. So there's one of them. Where's the other one? On top right here. So on the on the on the frame. Yeah. So so one is attached to like almost directly on the camera. And the other would be on the frame itself. Okay, and then on the back is a is a PIC32 and motor drivers. Yeah, so we've got the yeah, the PIC32 uh, with just the micro stick there as the programmer, uh, two uh, TI DRB8313 motor drivers. Uh, the motor drivers are basically three half H bridges, uh, and then a UR interface to a computer. Uh, and you're giving commands, right? Is that, yeah, so we give commands and send configuration and stuff like that. Okay, so. Uh, Turn it on. Yeah. So after you power it up, first you know, the micro stick boots up, and there's a log of everything that's happening as well. Um, and then initialize the IMUs. It does two seconds of gyroscope calibration to calibrate out the um, drift and bias in the gyroscopes. And then it turns everything on and it goes to point straight down. Uh, so now you can tilt the, f the frame, of, whether it's your aircraft or quadcopter or whatever. And then you can, you know, rotate it, and it'll rotate to counteract that motion. Um, and then we can change, you know, what the set point is for the PID uh, algorithm. And it'll, you know, the silver is telling it to point back by 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. So now we can do the same thing, and it'll uh, maintain a different set point. Mm -hmm. Set it back down. And you set it back down again. Yeah. Very cool. So the so the, the response is fast. There's a there's a little bit of, of jerkiness in the response, which you think you you said you think you can get rid of. Yeah. So the the way to get rid of that would be through either a auto tuning algorithm that can learn if we like assume this is a second order system, uh, some kind of auto tuning algorithm that can learn the dynamics of the system and adjust the PID values accordingly, or uh, through creating our own model of the system and cal hand calculating PID values that way. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you.